everyone. So if you've come across Facebook or any social media by this scammer named Brittany Dawn is this person who is this influencer that basically shows a bunch of like Christianity posts. And this person has a ridiculous amount of tanning, like way too much. Anyway, this person's out of the Texas area over in Dallas. And this person is talking about this good, godly Christian man. And basically everything they do is a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Uh, Because now her husband is being accused of the police department um, and is getting sued by the ACLU for beating a black man. Um, So this is on Reddit, which I will put links in the description, basically, so you can read all this stuff. Uh, Executive police violence. This video shows Brittany Dawn's godly boyfriend and ex-Kansas City PD cop Jordan Nelson throwing a man's face first into concrete. He's currently being sued by the ACLU of Missouri on behalf of the victim. Seriously huge TW on this one. And that's what's crazy, is this is a person who claims to be this, like, godly man and going, well, I, you know, I get to wake up every day to this godly man who loves Jesus and and whatever, and I'm like, oh, really, sweetheart? He loves Jesus? Is that why he beat the fuck out of a black man in Kansas City? Like, I just think that this is why I can't stand religion as well, because these people are hypocrites. They act like these good, godly people, and they're not. They basically are using it as a crutch to be horrible people. Instead of just being horrible people and owning up to it, they don't really live within their means whatsoever. Um, Because I just saw a ridiculous post on Facebook about some ridiculous post about her and her husband and just this long, ridiculous thing I saw on Facebook. And what's funny is it has like 4,000 laugh icons. 4,000. Yeah, more of that than the love icon <laughs> on Facebook. So what does that show you? More people think you are a joke. Um, so on the Houston Chronicle... Um, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton speaks outside the U.S. Supreme Court on November 1st, 2021 in Washington, D.C. Uh, Texas Attorney General's office is suing a social media influencer accused of selling fitness programs with deceptive promises of personalized advice and endangering people with eating disorders, according to a lawsuit filed on February 1st. The lawsuit filed in Dallas County names Brittany Dawn, a former fitness influencer from Fort Worth with over 400,000 followers on Instagram. See, I'm not a religious person, so I wouldn't know who the hell this person is, but this is nuts. On Instagram, where she describes herself as a Jesus seeker and a promotes a Christian themed retreat, Don built a social media following with glossy photos of fitness routines and inspirational quotes before marketing her own fitness programs beginning in 2014. Thousands of people paid $92 to $300 for custom nutrition advice and access to Don as your coach, your confident, your biggest supporter and friend, according to the lawsuit. But when customers emailed Don with questions, many alleged they received only generic responses such as, you've got this, babe. Don was accused of failing to provide the promise individualized nutritional guidance which the lawsuit alleges affected at least 14 customers with eating disorders, some of whom attempted unhealthy diets. First of all, if you see that on Instagram, do not pay for these scammers, okay? If you want real results, go to someone who is a licensed nutritionist. 
Go to someone who has a license in that field. Go to someone who has reviews. Or even go to your doctor or your therapist or your psychologist. Ask them if they know a licensed nutritionist. And they can help you of losing weight or if you have eating disorders. And sometimes some things are actually psychological, believe it or not. Some eating disorders are actually psychological. So talk to a therapist. Talk to somebody. Seriously. Like, don't go to these whack, whack jobs on Instagram. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. In 2019, after over 1,000 people joined a Facebook group dedicated to complaints about Don's programs, the influencer posted a video issuing an apology. I jumped into the industry that had no instruction manual. I'm doing the best that I can to the best of my ability, said Don on February 2019. Good Morning America segment about the complaints. I'm using this as a tool to learn to grow as a professional and to moving forward. Subsequently, Dawn announced she would transition from fitness to Christianity-focused content. The lawsuit filed in Dallas County District Court by Attorney General Ken Praxton asked for refunds for customers and $10,000 in damages per violation of the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Paxton is campaigning for re-election as Attorney General in the Republican primary in March. That's just nuts, man. And this is why I can't stand, like, how religious people are doing that. But she should. She should be paying them money. That's hilarious. I just, that's crazy. Anyway, um, anyway, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm exhausted. I need to put my clothes in the dryer because I'm going to a Super Bowl party tomorrow. So go Bengals. Anyway, yeah, don't buy anything from this girl, Dawn, or whatever. But uh, yeah, that tan is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for listening.